Okay, so in today's tutorial, we're going to uh, create uh, an exoskeleton facade for uh, for this project. This is the project called The Legs, designed by Andrew Brumerg uh, from IADS Architects. And uh, this is a conceptual project. It wasn't built, uh, but uh, it was a re request from a friend of mine to actually uh, uh, show how we can create this kind of uh, exo uh, facade in uh, in Rhino. So uh, basically the principle is, is, is quite simple. We're just gonna create this initial shape and then uh, from there on we're gonna continue with creating the uh, the curve uh, the curves for the facade and then we're gonna basically glue it onto the surface so uh, so let's uh, let's start so I'm gonna import now um, this image of the of the side views that we have and I will try to actually uh, correct or make it straight so that it's uh, easier for for creating uh, and for rotating uh, the image. So we're gonna do it like this. So we know that this is a straight line now. And of course, uh, since uh, this is uh, an image that is a little bit skewed, uh, I'm gonna uh, suspect that this is a straight line. So the first thing we're gonna do is just trace, uh, trace over it. So let's start maybe on this side here. So I will know that this is basically uh, that this is the the right side and then we're gonna just offset it same way here and what we can do now is create uh, this kind of uh, fillet filleted effect here so that we can actually connect it uh, and so that it's as smooth as possible in here on the right side, uh, maybe it will be a little bit, a little bit different. So we're gonna go with something like this, and let's see what we did, and let's see how we can basically. Let's trim this, and let's maybe modify it. If we're not happy with it, let's first join it, and then I'm gonna turn on the control points, and then we're gonna see how we can manipulate this geometry further. So I actually don't like how this turned out. So we're gonna cut it here and let's also cut it there. Let's trim the rest and let's um, try to copy this and that's, that's much better now. So let's extend this like so. So that we know that this is our uh, this is our geometry there. So uh, at this point, um, let's put the top like this, like in the example. And basically, the concept here is uh, I will just create one side, but the concept is uh, once you once you actually create this in 3D, it will be much easier to. Uh, to just apply this facade onto it. So um, basically, first uh, let's uh, let's see if we can join these guys. Uh, let's do the fillet, ready zero, and let's connect them. And now I will uh, basically use the same shape. I will just try to to draw to draw this kind of uh, pattern onto my onto my design. So I can see here that there is a slight uh, slight offset from the corners. So I'm gonna uh, do that as well. I'm gonna first explode everything. I'm gonna join these two. And let's uh, do some uh, type of offset here. Let's see if this is enough. That yeah, looks all right. Uh, let's extend it until, until the top here and trim the rest. Uh, and then uh, you can see here how it starts to blend in. So we can do two things. We can either create uh, something like this and then as it goes up uh, it's changing. You can see here that I'm I'm not gonna create the perfect the, the exact replica. I'll just show you the concept and how it's, uh, it's you can do it. 
and then uh, from here it starts to grow in the opposite direction something like this and then from there on uh, we can also actually give it some thickness and let's uh, give it 0 0.15 slightly less than than what it has on the sides and now I'm just offsetting this on the bottom and uh, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually uh, split this curve because I'll be using it a lot both of these so I'm gonna say um, split and I'm gonna select the cutting objects the ones on the bottom or actually I can select all of them it doesn't matter so let's do a split and let's do this one and this one and for cutting objects let's select all these lines that you just drew and now these lines are separated so uh, at this point we can just do fill it we can put the radius let's say let's experiment a little bit with the radius let's see the result that we will get let's say to one too big so let's say uh, 0 0.12 something we're getting we're getting some kind of result there let's increase it a little bit more 0 0.16 and that's gonna be more like for this edge uh, but let's do even more 25 and here we're starting to get uh, to get something that we that we can use so I'm gonna do the same for these guys here that have uh, the sharp angles and uh, this is what we, what we would get and then let's do 0 0.6 for example for these guys to have that filleted line you can see here it's even uh, more so let's try uh, let's try with one it's all right let's try with two and that's some kind of feel that that we want so i'm gonna do this for these guys here uh i'm gonna also pay attention to the reference image so basically i'm creating this based on on um, on this fillet option sometimes it may be too big so you would want to change it uh, and get get this shape as you would want it uh, of course the second way would be uh, that you actually draw the shapes directly here if you know their their, their exact position but uh, in this case we're gonna do it with uh, with these options that we just started with and we're gonna see what uh, the final result we'll get so I'm gonna speed the video now and uh, I'm gonna experiment a little bit with the fillets and once I'm happy with the, with the how it looks I'll uh, will continue on so let's say that uh, that this is my final shape that I just created so right now uh, I'm just going to refine even more this uh, this surface uh, this line I want it to be as smooth as possible so we're going to just use here like uh, this kind of effect to get it more smoother and we can also do the same thing here let's select these areas there and let's scale them up a little bit like this uh, once we have that ready uh, we can then go back and we can uh, bring this into the position let's bring it up and uh, at this point uh, we just need these four lines we're gonna uh, bring them here we can of course join them and we can extrude this and create shape like this uh, at this point of course we can cap it and let's uh, let's uh, fill it the edges uh, radius 0 0.2 is fine and let's see the result we get some nice result there and let's see what we get on the opposite side same thing there as well 
and the last one is this one so that would be basically the shape of the building and now what we can do here is uh, basically uh, explode it uh, because we don't need this and this one for now I'm gonna select curves and I'm gonna hide all of them I'm gonna join this uh, shell offset surface offset surface command uh, I'm gonna say that uh, it's gonna be solid the distance would be uh, let's say 0 0.10 and let's see the result so that's that's our result we got the shell nice and clean all right so once we have this shell uh, let's unhide these lines there on the side and uh, of course what we can do is this inner shell can be kept and uh, once once we're ready here we can basically create uh, uh, take all these shapes uh, this one is to be closed off and uh, once we have them we can just simply extrude them bring them inside here I'm gonna bring them in like so and I'm gonna do uh, the simple uh, boolean difference and this would give me that desired effect for the exoskeleton building that we wanted and here of course inside is the glass the outside is the shell and that would be the way to create uh, to create this kind of effect of this building so i'm going to quickly do this similar thing for the opposite sides and i'm going to render this out and show you the final result so uh, this is the final image hope that you like it hope that you like the tutorial if you have any questions for me regarding this tutorial or any other questions please feel free to comment in the comment section below and uh, if you like this kind of videos, please uh, like and share. Uh, that way you support um, this work. So uh, take care and see you in the next tutorial.